what is up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome my name is mara thank you so much for stopping by i just wanted to bring you guys with a real quick hair update as you guys can see my hair is done i don't know if y'all can see because it's black on black or dark brown on black but i just did my hair y'all know the last time that i seen y'all i believe it was a video where i told y'all that i cut my hair and i showed y'all the length and whatnot but y'all since i cut my hair as y'all can see real quick this is where we at a little lengthy length for a curly cut not a curly cut a blunt cut but in the curly wash and go style you know so this is where we at and i ain't mad at it okay so so like i said i just wanted to bring y'all a real quick hair update because i did notice some changes since I did snip about five six seven inches off my hair um, before in a few videos ago I told you guys that something weird was happening with my hair it was breaking off it was snagging it was short in some areas that I did not cut and that led me to believe that either my hair was falling out it's shedding a lot more or it's getting tangled or getting caught on something and it's pulling my hair out well um, since we have cut our hair, I would say that my curls, y'all, my curls are quite flourishing. They clump together in the shower doing a shampoo, condition, deep condition, brush and detangle. They clump and even out the shower when I put a little gel on my hair, y'all, y'all, the clumps just be forming. They be real cute and juicy. And my wash days, I've only did two wash and goes since I have my shorter hair, but... The process has not been long at all. I know it obviously has to do a lot with length since we literally just went from mid butt cheek length to this. I would say it probably takes me about 25 minutes to style my hair all together. That also depends on how slow I'm moving most of the time. I do not feel like doing my hair so I do be taking my time. Other times when I'm, when I'm in a rush, I will be rushing. But... It takes me about 25 minutes even when I'm taking my time doing my hair. So that's not long at all compared to what it was before. Y'all know I like my blunt cut. I thought my hair being curly because when I big chopped, I kind of did like... It wasn't a blunt cut, but it was close enough that it, if it was straight, it would have looked like it was a blunt cut. But when I had big chopped my hair and my straight hair was about up here, little bob, um... My curly hair was a little choppy. It was a little TWA. I don't want to go back to that, by the way. But it was a TWA, and it was just like different lengths as it grew. But now that my hair is like an official blunt cut, when it's straight, it's about right. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's about like right here. Somewhere in that area when it's straight. But when it's curly, everything just flows and forms and just sits on top of one another like it should like y'all cannot tell that i have different hair patterns or textures in my head y'all know the front is loose the back is tighter um y'all can't tell that because look at it right now like look at that definition i literally just did my hair about two hours ago i was filming tiktok videos instagram videos i did not record this style by the way add some little clips so, I did notice that my curls is last a little bit longer. I would say maybe a day longer than what it normally does. Than what it normally did when it was longer, which that's okay with me. But I still be pulling my hair back when I did it those other two wash and goes because I was working out and I was sweating. But overall, the purpose of this video is to let you guys know that after I cut five, six, seven inches off my hair, I can definitely tell the difference. So, if you are struggling with your hair just not forming properly as it should the curls is just all janky and whatnot um definitely consider a little cut even if you want to do a trim just maybe add like an extra half inch an inch or two to that see what that gets you that may just be the trick that you need in order to get your hair forming properly um, I'm still using the exact same products that I've been using this entire time I'm still using the same methods but now it's just so much easier for me to do my hair like everything's just forming how it's supposed to and i honestly believe that if i did not cut my hair i would probably still be struggling with just getting my curls to form because now they're actual curls they're curls now before they were like waves they're official 
curls and me having long hair i believe that obviously have a lot to do with the length of your hair the weight of your hair the weight of the products weighing your hair down y'all know in the beginning i liked my hair to be weighed down but when i started to see my hair pattern going from curly to wavy that's when i was like what's going on so that's pretty much what i wanted to update you guys on as you guys can see this is my hair <laughs> Like I said, I did not record this video, but if you guys want to go and see how I style my hair, how I got this little style with the wet look, what I did, how I did it, what products I used, go ahead and head over to my Instagram page. Y'all go ahead and make sure y'all follow that page. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well because we will be posting more videos. Um, but go ahead and give that video on my Instagram page a like. Also guys, another quick update that I wanted to tell you guys a long time ago, probably a year ago, I uploaded a video on just buying designer goods. That is something that I want to get back into, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, definitely let me know in the comments um, what you guys think, what you guys want to see. If you want to see a collection, designer collection, shoe collection, sneaker collection, I got you, let me know. Because I do just want to do a little bit more other than hair. Like I said, I'm working out. I'm not styling my hair as often as I normally would. But I would like to still make videos and make content because that is something that I really enjoy doing. But again, that is all that I have for you guys today. I'm sorry this video is so fast. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast. But I just want to tell y'all because I had it on my mind. I was like, let me go ahead and record it before I forget. So on that note, again, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you share this video in case you have some friends or some family that needs some inspiration on their hair if they're stuck because this might help them it might help you so let them know and I will see you guys in the next video